Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Sketchbook Sunday video. This week I wanted to talk a little bit about art block since I didn't really love how this painting came out, but it was a result of me trying to overcome art block for the past couple weeks. I know that this is a popular topic and I know that it's really kind of a difficult thing to overcome with many of us, but I thought I would talk a little bit about uh, some of the reasons and the things I do to overcome art block myself. And I think that that a lot of art block, at least for me, can start in many different ways. Some of the things that really kind of affect me is feeling like there is a lack of meaning in my own artwork or a lack of confidence in my creative abilities. Sometimes I just don't know what to create or I'm just unable to identify the issues behind my art block. For me, I think it's really important to remember that not all art has to have a deep meaning behind it. Not everything needs to convey a thought or a feeling. It can just be fun. It can be a creative release. It can be a form of expression and just relaxation even. Just putting pencil to paper can be so cathartic in a lot of ways and I feel like I forget that a lot and sometimes that's helpful to remember, especially for people who maybe don't always have really thought-provoking pieces. I know for myself I focus a lot on illustrative things and I kind of feel bad that my my, my artwork doesn't convey a deeper meaning a lot of the times, and maybe it's something that I should focus on in the future. I, I'm not sure. Maybe I will, or maybe I'll just realize that there's nothing wrong with being an illustrative artist or a still life artist, and that I just appreciate taking something from real life and putting it on a piece of paper in my own style. So that's what I'm trying to kind of focus on. I also like to remember that just encouraging a creative energy is half the battle. I find that if I can just kind of start creating and just play with my my supplies and focus on what I want to do it is really super helpful to me. Just bringing out my art supplies and playing with things and creating swatches and taking time to create more inspirational and helpful than having a good idea. So that's another thing that I like to try to do. And not everything that we create needs to be perfect. Not everything needs to be a work of art. Sometimes we are just learning and that's perfectly fine. There are plenty of times where our artwork will end up in the trash or in a folder for no one to see and that's fine. And we only need to create things for ourselves and for our own journey and for our own learning purposes. And taking a step back and realizing that not everything has to be shared or sold or needs to be viewed by other people. So that's another thing that I, I try to focus on. And another thing that I try to do when I just, I don't know what to draw, is I literally just pick something, anything. And it doesn't matter how abstract or mundane it is. It all kind of ties back to creating a creative energy. And by just picking something, and it doesn't matter how silly it is, by just having something to work on, to create something that brings out all of my art supplies is half the battle, and that is super helpful for me. Another really big issue is a lack of time. It's so easy to have our artistic time be put aside by family or friends or other jobs, things that just come up. And one thing that I like to do is work smaller. I will have a travel size notebook that I bring with me and it's just so helpful to just kind of sketch when I'm on the go or when I have a moment. I like to have my, my supplies already ready in a travel case so that when I do have a few minutes of downtime, I have them with me. And also, when I am working from home, not everything has to be started and finished in the same day or in the same period. Sometimes working in smaller chunks is actually better because then you have time to step away from what you're doing and actually evaluate it later on. When you come back to it, you'll realize that there were some things that maybe weren't developed well enough or you just don't like how it's going and you have time to step back and see that and fix it in an earlier stage. 
the biggest thing I feel like is dealing with stress or anxiety, maybe from money issues or relationship problems with friends or family or spouses or just other responsibilities that come up that can make it really, really difficult to be creative. And sometimes I try to remember that creating should be an escape and that it's something that I I should do just for me. Sometimes just using that time when you're creating as a way of expression, even if you're just experimenting, even if you're doing something that is so far out of the realm of what you usually do, that can be helpful. Just pulling out your supplies and using color or line work or creating textures that help to convey an emotion or just playing around can be really helpful. Also remembering to just kind of get away from your surroundings. It's so easy to associate all of those worries and anxieties and stresses with being in a place you're always in, like your home. Sometimes if you just get away, go outside, go for a walk, find a place where there is a seat or a picnic table, finding a library, going to a coffee shop or a diner, just getting out of your usual space can help you get out of your headspace that you're usually in and help you be more creative. And sometimes we really just need to remember that if we are not feeling creative, maybe we just need some time. Take some time to deal with what we're dealing with in our lives. If for the day you need to go and take care of yourself, if you need to take a shower, if you need to turn your mind off for a little bit, that's fine. If you need a few days or a few weeks to be away from art to re-energize yourself, that's okay too. We do learn by creating, but sometimes we need to take time away and focus on other things so that we can come back refreshed and learn again later on. Another thing that is so prevalent now is knowing when you need inspiration and knowing when you've taken inspiration too far and you are just comparing yourself to others. And it is really easy to constantly flip through social media and find other amazing artists and find it difficult to draw the line between gathering inspiration and looking at artwork and seeing what other artists are doing with expressing themselves and with different color palettes and realizing when we're going from energizing ourselves and going to a point where we are just comparing ourselves and tearing ourselves down. So realizing when to draw that line, when to step away from social media and our computers is really an important step as well. And lastly, playing with supplies can be a really helpful thing just mindlessly doodling or creating swatches, uh, shopping our supplies and just pulling out the stuff that we already have. Maybe things that haven't been touched in a while. Maybe things that we have purchased in the past but haven't really had time to explore. Maybe pull out supplies that you didn't like in the past and try playing with them or trying something new. Maybe trying a new medium. I like to shop my supplies but maybe spending a few dollars on something if you have it can also be really helpful. Sometimes just creating something a bit more abstract can help too. Maybe you'll find that creating color swatches, you'll find colors or patterns that are really beautiful. You'll find something that you'll want to incorporate into your style in the future. And that's always just a really nice creative escape that frees your mind rather than always focusing on having it look like something. If you are really trying to find something to create, I find it easy easy to just pick something, like I said, but sometimes you want a little bit more direction. And I find that searching ideas online is a really great way to kind of pick from a list uh, if you need to. Uh, Literally just searching what to draw or drawing ideas or drawing prompts is really helpful. And a lot of these are just really long text-based lists that allow us to just kind of pick something. And there are all sorts of lists out there, some that are 
very much into actual ideas and items and some that go into more abstract or sci-fi kind of ideas. And sometimes some of the last things that I like to do are just focusing on skills. Sometimes taking a step back because it can be so overwhelming with the amount of supplies that we do have that just picking out a couple of items, doing a three color challenge or doing a tonal study can really help you go from creating to focusing on the basics. And that is another thing that you can take into your art in the future. Grabbing supplies from around the house, even grabbing things in your studio, draw a tube of paint or your pencils, draw your art palette, go into a room of your house and draw things that you have there if you can't think of something to draw. Sometimes just drawing a bottle of lotion or soap, drawing a notebook, drawing your light fixtures, drawing your pets. All of these can really help kind of spark your creativity. And even if you don't finish them, even if you start something and it sparks an idea, go and do that. That's always great too. Another thing I like to do is just start drawing things. And if I'm in an art block and it, it sparks an idea I want to pursue, then I pursue that idea. And then I have sketches and things to come back to later on when I'm not really sure what I want to draw. Lastly, I think it's just really important to remember that whatever you are creating or doing, make sure you're doing it for yourself. Make sure that you're not trying to do it to, to share with everyone. If you choose to, that's great, but maybe just taking a step back and remembering that your art journey is for you and for your happiness and for your enjoyment can really just kind of help put things into perspective. So I think that's all I really have for this talk on Art Block. I hope that maybe it helped you out and uh, maybe it gave you some ideas or just maybe helped you come up with some ideas to cope with it in the future if you aren't in an art block right now. But either way, I will talk to you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you next time. Bye!